My name is Daniel Eriksen and I'm here to talk to you about constructing a polar type CPA equation of state. This work has been carried out together with PhD student Bjørn May Bomonsen and Professor Georgios Kontogiorgis. Now, normally when we model with an equation of state, we assume that all polar forces end up somewhere in a dispersive term or an associating term. However, for some components, this might actually prove to be a bit of a problem. Here we have acetone. Now acetone is not associative. If you model it, such as shown over here with the dotted line, you get results which are not actually all that good. However, when the same group applies a different theory which adds a polar component to this model, they get very nice predictions. How can that be? What have they done? Well, let's take a look at it. Here we have two sets of graphs. This here with all the nice lines show that for different sets of polar models, we have different scales. On the right-hand side, we have one scale for one model. On the left-hand side, we have for all the others. Thus, we observe that even if they are all polar, they contribute very differently. Now, another group has taken a look at this, and they show that even though the base contributions are almost or nearly the same, the only term that varies very large uh, in scale are the polar term. What are the implications of this? Well, if you want to discuss this with me and take a look at how we can construct a polar CPA equation of state, come and talk with me at my poster. We will discuss things like explicit polar modeling and what electrostatic theory brings to this. And finally, we are going to discuss how we do proper EOS modeling. 